Good morning guys. This is Vila again with Intertech stuff. And this morning what we have here is um, a Lenovo ThinkPad Edge. And what we're going to do with this is remove the keyboard um, assembly. Now uh, first what you would do you would flip the computer over and most of what I want to do is I already have it already um, disassembled but just put together and what you want to do here you have two screws at the bottom one here one here um, and even before you do that you'd want to remove the battery because you don't want to have um, any accidents so you move any kind of power that's attached to it and remove these two screws and then you also remove a screw here that holds the DVD drive assembly in place and so you would remove the DVD drive here make some room once that's removed you would have one screw that you would remove below the DVD case and that is right here one screw the closest to watch the front of the laptop once that is removed you would turn the laptop over and once it's opened um, the this assembly here would be easy to to move upwards but you don't try to take it out okay um, because there are screws that you would also have to remove in order to make it easier the ribbon cable runs along here and attaches underneath this plate so to remove that there are screws that has to be removed while well, I had mentioned this was already disassembled here now once this does not have to be removed but I'm doing more extensive work and that's why this is disconnected or unscrewed there are screws that has to be removed along here along the front edge one here one here 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 and alongside here there aren't any so just along the front edge right here okay now once those screws are removed and you turn the computer right side up again you have to open that what I use is just a metal spudger to kind of um, likely pry up on the side here now once it's pried up on the side you can remove it and if that is not easy to do it would be easier if you would just pry along here along these sides and you would you would hear as it becomes unclipped from the bottom case and once that's done you can flip the laptop over or you can hold it upwards you'll see how it's already detached here and if any of them re-snap you can just remove them and then you lay it down this cover can be removed but you don't want to pull it off because there's a ribbon cable that holds a mouse pad assembly to the main board now, this ribbon cable can be just detached from here or from here. And if you don't want to, you can have it rest on your desk or your work mat. And your keyboard assembly will just come right out of place. The two screws at the bottom that's holding this in place, if you flip it over, you will see them here. Now, most cases, if you try to to remove the keyboard because of this metal casing here that sits down in here you won't be able to slide it out so you want to be, be careful of that and once that is removed you can use a metal plus spudger but plastic spudgers are mainly recommended because of the conductivity of these metal and once this is removed and you take your keyboard out Ribbon cable and your keyboard is removed. 
if you need to remove this the touchpad plate assembly here you can remove it from here if you want to or if you have to and that's it and um, another thing is that you also have your CMOS battery that's below this panel here and also you have your Wi-Fi card that's also below this so these are anything that you have to do they're here the um, attachment for your screen is also below this pad here and that would be this here so uh, everything that you would need most of what you would need to do is underneath this one pad here in front of the laptop and um, thank you for watching guys and if you like it um, please click the like button and um, subscribe if you want to I try to post as many of these um, disassembly uh, videos as possible keyboard screens and different things and if there's something in particular that you'd like to see just send me a message and I'll try to get to it as quickly as possible thank you for watching